Okay, hey guys, I'm editing right now, and if you want to see how I make tarot cards and procreate, continue watching here in the full, here is the back side of the card, here is the magician, and here is the back side of the card, and then also here is the high priestess, the second card, and also back side, so these are my tarot cards, I'm making their uniform themes as always. So these are the tarot cards I'm making and procreate. Uh, I'm making my own deck, so if you want to see how I do that, continue watching. Okay, hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. Uh, so today's vlog is a little bit different. Um, yesterday, I think it was Saturday. What? Well, I'm at the computer right now. So, I'm just going to see what we did yesterday because I've already forgotten. Let me know. Let me go to my screens here. Um, a little bit. I've been in our block today. Try it. It's Sunday, so I'm just showing I am, anyways. Uh, let's see, where is my, okay, type in my password here to my computer. Okay, so, um, I'm trying not to sneeze. My nose has been bothering me today, so I'm trying not to sneeze in this video. Uh, let's see. Okay, so, yes. I'm looking at my YouTube studio beta and October day one, my October plans, tarot card unboxing, and more. So that was just today's video. Today's video is uh, a little bit along the same lines as yesterday. But I thought we're going to do a little bit of experimentation here. I, a few weeks ago, I started to make my own tarot deck by drawing it as a unicorn base. And of course, so here is the first card, which is zero, which is the full. So I drew this card and I'm very proud of it. Here's the front, here's the back, and I'm very proud of it. And I learned to print on my printer front and back of the card and procreate. So I'll show you that step as well. So I'm really excited. Here's the full, that's the very first card of the deck. And I'm going in order so I can memorize the meetings and everything, uh, which is really helpful in learning uh, more of the tarot deck and everything. So here's card number one, Magician. And I'm really excited about this one as well. Here's the front, here's the back. And I've always wanted to do this, but now that I have my tarot cards here, uh, holographic set and my original set I have gotten off of Amazon's the original set Oops, the box is like tearing apart here so I'm gonna have to get like a card I have to get like a card deck holder or something off of Amazon because these boxes are not I mean these are okay boxes but it could be better a little bit, I think, but that's just my opinion. Um, so I am going to be going over my Procreate process. I am going to be using my iPad. Hold on. My iPad and everything. And sorry, I did couple of today. today. I was like all over the place. I'm going to be using my iPad and then at the very end, of uh, the video i'm going to try to sleep in my october for today i've already done ink the ink portion i just have to color it in inks and everything with my dr ph martin uh what i call ink so i do have um to color this as well am i doing the meditation portion of it Yes, but not with the drawing. I'm doing meditation aside and a whole different, um, like I'm doing visualization and I, I will make a video about that as well. I'm not a doctor or anything. I will just explain it to you um, as well and how to do it. And 
yeah so there's a lot going on in today's video as well so i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you have any questions or anything in particular about my process and making a tarot card and everything here's what i'm going to show you if you haven't seen yesterday's video where i unboxed these cards go check that video out i will share with you an example so here is three of one of the card i pulled out of my holographic again go check out the unboxing on my channel from yesterday's video that'll be awesome um and everything so that'll be awesome as well so go check that video out i'm really talking about today i'm sorry it's sunday i'm relaxing i'm having fun watching all the booktobers and octobers that are out there and this is my favorite time of the year so i'm really excited so anyways i'm going to stop talking and everything don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below turn the vacation bell on so you yes you won't miss a single video i'm very hyper i need to chillax and let's get on with the speed paint and everything with the october and stuff so let's get on with that okay hey guys and welcome to today's video i have the card uh, right here in front of me um, for today's video I thought it would be a little bit different because it's a project that I have been working on a quite a while now I'm on actually card three and I'm trying to look up I think it's the high priestess that I'm working on um, I'm checking my procreate uh, no the empress is what I am working on right now um, so I am really excited and for this project and I'm actually I want to have a little spooky story time with you guys uh, in this video as well and for and then I will go into the meaning of the high priestess and everything so a little bit um, all in all so let's start with the spooky story time my friend Molly was over on Saturday uh, she was staying with me for a few days and she had uh, brought her tarot cards and we decided to have the tarot card session. So, in the meanwhile, I had done a initial in intuition reading with her and that was my first time of doing that and it was pretty accurate. And I was pretty shocked by myself and how I can read the card's intuition and not using the book. But again, I had used the book um, just so I could correct myself in some ways and learn the meanings of the cards. But I have done uh, tarot cards enough for a while now, so I'm really happy and everything. So how her reading came out, I hope Molly doesn't mind me sharing that. Um, but let me go to the High Priestess meeting of the card real quick. Uh, so that way you can... I mean, the Empress, sorry, getting High Priestess and confused. I just finished the High Priestess card. So, the Empress represents beauty, nurturing, and abundance. She is calm and content with her life. The Empress indicates the need to relax and allow things to happen naturally. The Empress encouraged connecting with one's feminine traits and create beauty, artistic expression, and connecting with nature are representative of the card. So, I thought that was a little bit interesting. Yes, I read for the book, but that's okay. Um, so I just thought I would talk about my project a little bit as I'm wrapping up here. Uh, this is the third card, I believe, of the deck I am doing. Um, this is, quote unquote, fourth card that I had created, but, um, this is the third card in tarot deck, so kind of confusing a little bit, but I hope you guys are enjoying the speed painting here, uh, tarot card. And everything, uh, I've been getting into spiritual journey here on the channel a lot. And I've been trying to learn myself uh, this year and dive deep dive into self-care and everything. But also I wanted to mention that I am very intuitive. Uh, I can pick up other people's feelings and how they can react in the room and everything so that's very interesting about myself I learned this year and everything so if you have any questions or anything if you want to see more spooky content like this or you know anything really 
Uh, that's been really into feeling spiritual journey. I've been doing meditation this year, and that's been really helpful a lot. I've been learning about visualization. That video is coming soon, so I'll be doing that. I do have exciting news that's coming this Wednesday, so you want to stay subscribed if you want to see that. So there's going to be a lot happening this month for me, so I'm really excited, and I can't wait to share with you guys. I've been working all year of this. Some of, the, some of you guys already know about it, so please don't say anything in the comments down below until Wednesday. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Here is a finished card, and I will show you my printing process, how I print front and back, and everything in coming section 2 of the video. Stay tuned! <laughs> Okay, so this is how I print the tarot card. So I have these two layers. Uh, insert an image and then my back of the card here, which I will show you. That's the back of the card. So I have first card and then I will do that and then size it up so it'll be aligned. And then I will, oops, share uh, JPEG. And then it doesn't matter if it's PNG or JPEG, it is. And then print. Okay, so it is. Sorry for missing floor. Printing. <laughs> Okay, so this is how it turned out. The tarot card number two, which is the high pri priestess. Um, and then I will flip it over like so, and then put it back in there. I'm gonna come back over here. It says it's out of paper because it was. I'm going to turn this layer, the one with the card, off and then with the backing card on and they are the same size so i'm going to print jpeg doesn't matter if it's png again and then print okay it says no printed selected it should come up in a minute there we go and then we want to hit print and also these are my two cards that are already finished here's the magician here is the back of the cards here is the full so and then the back of the card so sorry for the lighting again it's nighttime so bear with me so we are printing okay so we basically have it aligned it's just a little bit um like you can see here there's a little bit of an edge that we could easily cut off, I guess. Um, but it's aligned, basically, uh, which is good. So I'm just going to cut it out and everything. So there is the front and the back. And the reason I'm only doing it on one card per paper, it's just it's a lot easier for me to manage um, instead of a lot of all together. But I think it came out pretty good. So I'm going to pause here and cut the card out and show you guys. And yeah, this is uh, also day two of October. So day two is already done. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. 
and I will come back when I'm done.